guys welcome or welcome back to my vlog for those of you who do not know me my name is Megan Kaja and I'm very excited for today's vlog because I'll be showing you guys my Tuesday piano lesson routine so before my lesson I always get all my stuff ready so during my lesson I'll be all prepared and I'll have everything there right there so it'll be very easy to access everything so my books are over here me and Jason's books since we both play piano. So I'm just gonna get it from here. I have my extra piano and a bunch of other books I need for my lesson. Okay, so now I'm gonna quickly get my piano ready because sometimes it doesn't work, so I always have to test before my lesson. Okay, so it works. And by the way, I actually have two pianos, but I prefer to use this one because this one is not as old as my other one. And even though it might break down sometimes, I prefer to use this one because it's lighter to touch. And now that I have my piano ready and my books, I need my stand. Now, you might be wondering why I need my stand because I'm playing piano, but I need to put the computer on this so my piano teacher could see me and the piano keys perfectly. Okay, I think this is the perfect position to keep my stand so my teacher could see me playing the piano and all the piano keys perfectly. And the reason for online lessons is because of COVID. I know many people don't like it, but at least it's better than nothing because I still get to learn piano. So I'm gonna put in my meeting passcode and then when the lesson starts, my teacher will let me in. Okay, all done. And now I'm going to put it on the stand and wait for my teacher to come and start the Zoom piano lesson. Okay. Okay, I think this is the perfect position for the computer. So my teacher could see me and the piano as I play and it would be easy to learn. And during my lesson, I won't be talking that much because the teacher has to listen to me and I have to make sure I could hear her through the computer. Okay, so I have a new piece that my teacher taught me and it's a bit tricky, but before I practice, I always do my scales and I have a bunch of scales. So here's one of them. before my teacher comes. I really like to do chords and they help you with playing the piano so you can learn songs easier. techniques is because it's important when you're learning piano because if you have a piece and then some of these techniques are in that piece so when you learn them right now when you play the pieces it'll be way more easier for you so here is the chromatic scale starting on G and it's one octave song on my piano titled Shall We Gather at the River.
teacher to come, I'll just be playing some piano songs on my piano so I could be waiting for her to come and be ready for my lesson. Okay, let's get started. So we're going to start with scales like always. Okay, and let's do the, the trickier scales. So I want to start with E harmonic minor. So let's do G major for the Everything else was easy and pretty much simple. Um, no. No? Okay, then I'll have to listen to Jason then. Okay. Bye. Yeah, see you next week. See you next week. Jason! It's your turn. Hi, Amy. Hello. Um, let's start with your four-star book. Okay. 